Reaction number three. Very important, very interesting. If we have a beta keto acid, for example, this is a acid because there's a carboxylic acid group, and at the beta position, the carbon with which this whole acidic group is attached that is alpha carbon the next carbon is beta carbon at the beta position there is a ketonic group so this is beta keto acid this is how it looks now the remaining section instead of methyl there could be thyl propyl butyl whatever so we we can just write it as r it could be hydrogen as well right so this is beta keto acid what happens is when we heat it, just heat it and do nothing, just heat it. When we heat it, we get a ketone like this and CO2 gas is evolved. So this is a concerted reaction. Concerted reaction meaning it occurs in one step. Now how it occurs, let's see. This is how beta keto acid will have the configuration and this oxygen and this hydrogen will have a hydrogen bond like this. Hydrogen bond we have studied before in case you have trouble hearing this term. I'll, 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 I'll suggest you, you go and study hydrogen bond because hydrogen bond is an is a, is a important, important thing in organic chemistry. Hydrogen bond is not a real bond. In a sense that there is no electronic density much in between oxygen and hydrogen as it is in case of a covalent bond. But there is a slight electronic density and there's a, it's, it's a kind of electrostatic attraction. Because this oxygen has a dull negative charge, this hydrogen has a dull positive charge and because of that electrostatic attraction, there is a force of attraction and that is what hydrogen bond is. So because of the hydrogen bond, the, the configuration of beta keto acid would be like this. When we heat this, now heating will in a, increase the energy and at higher energy there would be higher reaction and reaction is nothing but electronic exchange. So when we heat this, what happens, the electron, more of the electron goes into the orbital of hydrogen. So the electronic density from this pi bond goes into the orbital of this oxygen and from that orbital of oxygen the electrons are further transfused into the orbital of hydrogen. So this electronic transition that was there in a slight extent in a form of hydrogen bond is boosted up by heating of this molecule. So that's how the reaction will start. Now hydrogen will get more electronic density from that oxygen so hydrogen will start to form a real covalent bond now if it is starting to form a real covalent bond it has to break one bond that was formed previously so this was the bond that was formed previously so the electronic density of this bond will come here to form a bond between this carbon and this oxygen right now this carbon is already making up four bonds so if this carbon is making one more bond one of the previous bond has to be broken. So electronic density of this bond will come here to form a bond between these two carbon. And these two carbon are breaking one bond each. This carbon is breaking a bond from here and this carbon is also breaking a bond because the, this, the, the electron of this bond is going into the orbital of oxygen. That will break the bond between carbon and oxygen. But this carbon has one bond less. On breaking this bond, this carbon gets one bond less. So they will form a bond among themselves to fulfill their valency. Now if you look at this part, this part is coming out because we are breaking this bond and we are breaking this bond as well. So oxygen's one bond is being broken from here and carbon's one bond is being broken from here. So both are devoid of one bond. So what they will do is they will form a bond among themselves and come out as CO2. 
there's a carbon oxygen double bond already one more carbon oxygen double bond will be formed from this side so this part co2 is going to come out this oxygen and this hydrogen will have complete unit of one unit of bond that's how the reaction was started so we are crunchy of space let me see co2 will come out and next what will happen this oxygen and this hydrogen forms a bond there's a bond reduced between this oxygen and this oxygen and this carbon and there's a bond formed between this carbon and this carbon there will be a c double bond c at this position like this so this is what we get on heating it well, now this is a in all form this is alkene and this is alcohol you can quickly recognize this is a in all form and long time back we studied concept called tautomerism and this is a, this this molecule will quickly tautomerize to give us the ketonic form because ketonic form is very stable because ketonic form has c double bond o and c double bond o is the strongest double bond of organic chemistry so ketonic form is the form that has 99 percent of the content of this equilibrium so the whole of this enolic form will convert very quickly to the ketonic form so this is the ketone that we get as the final product right and apart from this co2 gas is evolved like this so when you heat beta keto acid you get the corresponding ketone to write the product what you will do is you will just remove co2 from here and this hydrogen will be attached with this carbon so this ch2 will turn into ch3 and rest of the structure will remain as it is right this is an important reaction you have to note that co2 gas is evolved in this reaction and the final product is ketone although during the reaction first enolic form is formed and then that is converted into ketone a important reaction